my knees, hands held high, hoping God can heal my bleed. So much hurt in my life, a lot of pain, a lot of pressure. Feeling like I'm in the battle between God and the devil. My lifestyle quite wild, beating on my chest. Pulling on my dress, losing hell because I'm stressed. Clutching on my now, I'm just ready to make a mess. I swear it ain't us, but understand my confess. A lot of people doubt me, yeah, they doubt me. Judge a What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Jackie, and I'm back with another video. I know you guys are probably like, where have y'all been? But we are back. I am back today with another video. Um, it's kind of nice. It's kind of like, it's kind of cold, but it's kind of nice. Um, I'm actually eating me some, look, some hearty, guys. This is a cheap chicken, chicken sandwich, and some fries, and some honey mustard. I'm starving. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things. And I want you guys to. Sorry, I was listening to music earlier. I want you guys to let me know if you think that I'm. I should leave it alone and be cordial or should I just like not deal with it like just leave it the way it is right now and not try to piece anything up so I'm gonna this is basically like eat with me slash it's like an eat with me slash talk to me video kind of sort of um okay so me and this person used to be friends and you know we did a lot for each other well somewhat her way but I did a lot for this person and this person did something that to me I feel like was kind of shady and I know y'all like well what did she do how can y'all tell? How can you tell a story, Jackie? But you don't tell everything. I'm not doing everything, but she did like we did. Um, like I did a lot, and the things that I did, I did have the kindness of my heart. It's never to get anything back, nothing, nothing like that. Because at the end of the day, it was something that I did out of the kindness of my heart. Again, mm. Let me get my father's missing. My father's like, stop talking and eat. <laughs> But, like, I'm trying to think. Okay. So, once she did what she did to me, that was very shady. I kind of, like, left it alone. I was upset. Trust me, I was upset. I was upset. I was heartbroken. I was everything under the bow. But, it was not that much I could say or do at that time. Um... But then it was another incident that happened, and this time it was our children that it involved. So I kindly went over there. Long story short, me and this girl got into a fight. Okay, I got into a fight. She calls the police. The police come. Long story short, on that part, your girl gets on probation. Your girl gets to pay a fine. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm off of that. I'm done with it. I've seen her about three times in court since then. Now, we have men that are friends, okay, or mutual, okay, and, um, you know, my husband, he really knows how I am, I'm very like, you cross me, you cross me in a way that you could basically ruin my family, ruin my life, everything like that, it comes to a halt where Jackie just won't deal with you, I'm good, I have no hard feelings, I forgive you, what, blah, 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 but at the end of the day, we can't rock, because at the end of the day, once you call the police on me or once you do something that basically tries to threaten my livelihood or my children, guess what? I can't rock with you no more. We can't kick it. We can't talk. We can't do none of that. Like, no. Because at the end of the day, I can't trust you. And if I can't trust you and I got to look over my back to be with your friend or chill with you, then therefore that I don't need to chill with you because I'm not looking over my back for nothing. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? Okay. So... Now, living 
So her man been trying to, you know, get us to talk. But I feel like, like, okay, he says, like, you know, she has no hard feelings. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. That's what's up. We both have no hard feelings. But at the end of the day, I didn't pick up the phone and call the police on you. Even when we, even when I was helping you, I never picked up the phone and did nothing like that. I just feel like once you pick up the phone and call the police, it, it tarnished anything that could have actually transpired after that incident. Because we could fight and have been friends afterwards. You understand what I'm saying? But when you pick up the phone and you involve other people, and then on top of that, you just don't involve other people, but you also involve three other females in your family, basically like if they were going to come jump me or something, that's when it comes to a different level. You understand what I'm trying to say? And I'm on it. Like... Okay, I'm over it. Like, I seen her in the store the other day. I looked at her, I heard nothing. Because I have nothing to say. Now, <coughs> my husband tells me about this incident or whatever, about something for like this weekend that involves her. And to be honest, I feel like if we weren't supposed to go somewhere, all of us together, I feel like me and her as women need to sit down and talk. Because, at the end of the day, things need to be said. You need to know how I feel. I need to know how you feel. I need to know where you stand. You need to know where I stand. And, in that meantime, after that conversation, then if we do decide, me and my husband do decide to go, it will be all out on the table. This way we can enjoy ourselves and have fun. And it is what it is because everything's out on the table already. Now, I don't feel like we should go on anything. Me and my husband should go somewhere and nothing is resolved or nothing is talked about between me and this person because at the end of the day, that's just going to ruin the guy's trip and ours. Sorry, guys. My memory was full. I had to delete some stuff. But, yeah, I just feel like we should talk because of the simple fact of I don't want to ruin anybody's trip. I don't want to be fake. I don't want to be just doing this just to cool. No. Because I'm. I, I, I can't. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So, please help me, y'all. How should I go about this situation? Like, how should I go about it? Because. I'm just lost. Like. I'm not gonna lie, I seen her the other day, when I seen her the other day, I was kind of like, oh, I miss my friend a little bit, but, it's the same thing as, still, you did something <laughs> that could have really, really broke me, and hurt, not just hurt me, but, that could have hurt my kids, you know what I'm saying, like, that could have affected them, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I feel about it. Hey, I look at this big ass burger. That's where I need to go. Oh yeah, y'all. Hey, please help me. Mm, 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 mm. That's so good. Y'all just don't understand how good that is. I keep looking at myself. I just might make it look kind of good. But, you know, I just don't know what to do, y'all. I, I really don't. Like, I really don't know what to do. I just don't want to be put in a bad situation. Because, to be honest, it took a lot for me to get over it. A lot. And,. Have you ever, like, been hurt by friends so many times that, like, up to a while, it's to the point where it might not be the same person multiple times you've been hurt by. It could be all, like, any friend. 
you could have been hurt by any friend. But I'm just saying, like, have you ever got to that point where you got tired of being hurt by friends or people? To the point where you're just at a point where you're like, you don't make or break me no more. Mm. I'm calling that nail on my lips, so huh? <laughs> Not really, don't make or break you. But. It doesn't bother you to be friends or not be friends with them. Because of some of fact though, the damage that has happened and transpired between the both of you. And you could have did some damage to that person too. And you just don't know it because they haven't said anything yet. And if I did do something to her or damage to her, I apologize for it. Because I'm a woman. I can admit my wrongs. Just like I could say I've been petty when it came to her. Said a whole lot of shit. But I can admit that because I was petty. I was being petty. I was doing, hey, you want to say shit? I'll say shit. That's how that can go. Which I shouldn't have because I got out of my character. I got out of myself. And I shouldn't have did that. Because nobody, nobody should take me out of my character. You know, you know what I'm saying? We should never let anyone bring you out of your character. And I did that. So, I can be responsible for my action. Mm. Because I'm a big girl. Look. Not everybody can do that. Not everybody can take responsibility for their actions. Not everybody can say, oh, I effed up. Like, I fucked up. My bad. No. Nobody can say, some people can't say that. Some people can't admit when they're wrong because of the pride. And I'm not saying that that's her issue because I don't know. Like I said, I haven't talked to her. I don't know. Guys, I really, really don't know. Right now. Right now, your girl. Oh my eyes. One girlfriend. And that's my wife. It's just that I'm just I feel like I'm too old. I have too much to do. I'm too old for the bull crap. I'm too old to be jealous of a friend, to have animosity, to have drama. I'm trying to live my life, count these checks, have a wonderful life with my kids, show them the world, give them the world. And have a wonderful marriage with my husband. That's it. Mm. Not all this hateful stuff. Not all of this non non necessary drama right now. Because It's stupid. Really stupid. So, I don't know. In a way, I feel like it's almost been a year 
I'm not going to, no, I'm lying. No, I have. I've been here in April. But, I'm just like, over it, y'all. What's done is done. What happened, happened. Now it's time to move on. Like, that's what I did. I moved on from the situation. But, I don't know. It's very hard to break, to break the way you were raised. Very hard. Because I was raised where, <laughs> once you do the cop thing, and the cop calling, and trying to ruin me, or anything in that necessary, we never speak again. Ever. Ever in my life. That's usually like where I'm from. That's how it happens. But I don't want to be like that. Y'all. I want to be able to forgive. And I'm and I can do that. And I have done that. Let's just say it's just more safe. I just feel like I wouldn't be able to be me. I wouldn't be able to be myself because I would never know what was up her sleeve. That's basically it. So I feel like to avoid the drama. Sorry, guys. I kind of had my front door open. I let Hoover outside to sit for a little bit, get some air, and I want to I want to be able to see him. But yeah, I just feel like I just don't know. I, I I'm baffled. <laughs> I'm like very much lost for word. I just don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. Alright. I feel like... Everything would have been cool afterwards. If that wouldn't have happened. It's not about... It's about... I can't even say. It's not about the, the money. The probation. It's not really even about the police. It's about, I thought we were something that we, and I thought we were somewhere, and I thought we were grown enough to have a dispute, have a disagreement, and and be able to move past it that same exact day. Nothing more, nothing less comes out of it. But we weren't. And I just feel like I'm tired of giving to everybody, and then I get the short end of the stick. I'm a nice person, a very wonderful friend to a person that I feel as if, it's the same towards me. But I just feel like once you do what was done, I don't know how I could I don't know how I could surpass that. That's really it. Some of you might say, oh, exactly, you're holding a grudge. I'm not. I'm doing not. I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not holding a grudge. It's just, I just feel like, A lot transpired in that relationship between me and her. And she talked about me, I talked about her. 
But at the same time, I didn't talk about her until I heard she was talking about me. And it still doesn't excuse my behavior. Because I shouldn't have done it, period. But it's more so like, to some people, I defended her. And then when it came down to me, and with people talking about me to her, there was no defense level. There was no defending me. So it's a lot that happened in that relationship that weighs on me because of the simple fact of how things played out. And I'm just trying to figure it out, you know. Don't get me wrong. I miss girl time. I miss having a friend. I miss being able to, you know, go to somebody else's house and have fun. I miss being able to have that girl time, go out, kiki, laugh, and get your nails done with and stuff like that. I miss all of that. But at the same time, I need for it to be where we on the same level. We have the same mutual respect for each other. We are building each other up, not tearing each other down. We are standing up for each other when someone says, Oh, X, Y, and Z about this person. We standing up for each other. We're doing what we have to do for each other as friends. That's what I need. I need someone who's going to be the same way that I am with them. If you're not that person, then you need to stay five feet the fuck away from me because I am not that person to do that with. Okay, I need a real person. I need a real friend. I need a person who's going to be 100 with me. And not go to Bob, Susie, and Harry and be like, because <laughs> I'm going to be like, boop, right in your motherfucking face. You feel me? Because I don't have tolerance. This is why I have nobody but my wife. I go over to her house maybe like twice, maybe three times a week. We have dinner. We talk. We chill. We laugh. And it's wonderful also because both of our men, they're cousins. They're related. So it makes it better for us because we know for a fact. They know and I'm not saying you want to understand what I'm saying. We know for a fact, okay? And plus, on top of that, when me and my wife argue, that shit gets nipped in the bud real fast because we can't say much to each other. Period. And I just need another friend like that. Not to be my wife because no one can replace her. But just to be able to be open be honest no one catches your hard feelings you be honest with me be 100 you know what i'm saying etc etc but we will see won't we got everybody we will see <laughs> i want to see uber watch how i force you hold on guys Okay, you guys want to see who we're? Look. Look at my pink of that. He got himself dirty. He gonna be in trouble. He got himself dirty. Tink. Mama's boy. Why you get yourself dirty like that, Mom? I think about it. Why you get yourself dirty like that, think about it. Well, the sun is out, guys. And it's all right to say. Hey, bye. Bye, 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 bye. But, um, yeah. Other than that, y'all, I ain't really doing too much. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I finished eating my food. Saved a little bit of my fries for Mia when she gets home. But that's really it. Like, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I really wanted gotta help me with that situation I really needed some help with it y'all I really needed some help y'all uh, oh excuse me because I don't know what to do so comment down below your opinions boo boos okay boo boos comment down below those opinions honey let me know what's 
need help. Okay? Because my honey, he ain't, he ain't gonna force it on me. So I need somebody else. Not even to force it on me. But to just what does it say? How do they say it? Enlighten me. <laughs> I need somebody else to enlighten me. Help me through this pain that I'm going through. I need your opinion. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but whatever, guys. <laughs> yeah. So. This is the rest. Oh, before I end this vlog, let me say now: subscribe to our subscribe to the, our channel, hit that like bu button, comment down below, and share with everyone that you know about our channel. And let's hurry up. Let's get us to 1K. We are on the road. It might not look like it, but I'ma just say we on the road. Help us get there, guys. Please. Okay. Hey, but again, subscribe, like, comment, share. Love you guys. Peace. Watching all sides, back pressed against the wall. I know it's hate when it comes to this money, but I weather the storm and then return.